What is happening gamers? This is Bradley here bringing you some more Nintendo news. So first up is that the Pokemon Company has registered a couple new trademarks that may or may not have something to do with that whole mysterious teaser clip that was shown during the Pokemon Game Show where we got to see Lucario and Blaziken going face to face with high definition visuals. Some of those trademarks being Pokemon Fighters and Pokemon Tournament. And if you take a gander at that word Pokemon, it seems like a combination of the word Pokemon and Tekken. Yeah. Let that one sink in. So instead of being a Pokemon Stadium 3, it could very well be a crossover between Pokemon and Tekken, where it plays more out like a fighter instead of being turn-based battles, which I would find more interesting. Now if this whole concept does happen to be real, it most definitely will not include every single Pokemon or 151 of them, probably only a handful of them, maybe they'll only pick the ones that can stand on two legs and that are fighting types. We don't know. Now the Pokemon Company did issue a statement about these images and stated that there is nothing to announce at this time and that the images are merely conceptual. Whatever that means, I guess it means it's just like a test or something like that, but all this stuff could be pointing towards something so we'll just have to stay tuned. And in other news for Pokemon is that we already know Japan is going to be getting some Pokemon X and Y 3DX XL bundles, but according to an inventory system for a major North American retailer known as Target, seems that these bundles are going to be coming to North America as well. Now considering there are two different bundles, one will probably include X and the other one will probably include Y. Now the two bundles in Japan do include the same themed 3DS XL, they aren't different from one another, so I'm guessing that's probably going to be the same here for the two bundles. So maybe we'll hear an announcement for a North American release for these two bundles in an upcoming Nintendo Direct sometime soon, and if you don't have a 3DS and you're thinking about getting one, you might want to hold off until October so you can get the X and Y themed 3DS XL, if you're into it. Now also on that same inventory system, there is a listing for a 32GB Wii U Deluxe set that comes bundled with Wind Waker HD. Now we don't know if this bundle is going to have anything special about it, like having some Zelda decals on it, or being painted gold, which will probably get people to buy it, or it can merely just be black that comes bundled with Wind Waker HD. So we'll just have to wait for more details on this too. And in news for Sonic Lost World is that during the latest trailer at Gamescom, it's been confirmed that the Wii U version will be getting a special edition known as the Deadly Six Edition. Now the special edition will include extra game content like boss battles with characters from the game Nights into Dreams and maybe some other stuff too, but it appears that the special edition is going to be available in limited quantities. Now we don't know if this is just going to be like the first shipment of games that are going to be the Deadly Six Edition or if it's only going to be available for people who pre-order the game. So we'll just have to wait for some more details on this too. And finally is that there was a new trailer for Batman Arkham Origins that was shown off at Gamescom and it shows Joker doing his thing, we get to see Deathstroke get unmasked, and Bane even doing the iconic Break the Batman thing. And there was also an introduction for the villain Firefly. So if you want to check out that trailer, there'll be a link in the description below. But that will bring us to the end of the news and you can stay tuned for a review for DuckTales Remastered. I did finish the game so I gotta write up the script now, so yeah! You can also stay tuned for some more news videos and other stuff, and you can also head to thegamingpixelshow.com to follow along for some more news for the 3DS and the Wii U. But I'll talk to you later in the next video, guys. Bye!